Hello and welcome to another Fast Ginger video. We are at the Nations Cup 15 laps at Spa. Mandatory use of soft and medium tires. 15 laps, I said. We are starting and qualified on 7th position. Standing start. And here we go. We're doing in-car because this is the best view for the beginning of this race. I'm trying to stay out of trouble here in turn 1, which is normally a shit show so <laughs> we made it through that and we're following this big group of cars that are fighting so I laid back a little bit hoping to get a run on this hill and by golly look at that we did but I think I bumped him right there and that slowed my progress and then he kind of rams into me a little bit there I back off because we're not even done with lap one so and we go into this corner here breaking and get bumped off the track come back and we're maintaining we're still in fourth place so that's pretty good seventh to fourth in uh, just a few corners and a straightaway so we're going down into this heavy braking zone into the right hander get a good run off of this corner compared to that one I believe he backed out and then like a dumbass I uh, followed him right off the track and thankfully did not lose this car on the AstroTurf uh, this is a tricky corner coming up, uh, particularly on some soft, cold tires. Uh, we lose another driver there, so we're up to third position, so very good so far. And then uh, we're going in through here to this little technical section. Uh, heavy braking here to the right. Uh, pick it up, and then it's full out until the, uh, the very last corner. And we're coming up to the... Uh, penalty zone to serve your penalties and he had a two second penalty so boom we go flying past and all the way up into second place as you can see here from the very beginning and we've got a sizable second place move here so here's the critical breaking zone you want to don't want to break too late because it'll really screw up this exit uh, and onto this the, the last straightaway here so lap one seventh to second place that is excellent so we're going to skip forward here to lap seven and we're still in second place third place has caught up a little bit uh, but we've been maintaining this distance for quite a few laps here and it's about time to do a pit stop soon too so uh, this was flat out through here once you got used to it it was really easy you didn't really have to mess with it too much it was a simple uh, easy thing to do and then this straight away just hoping that uh, doesn't get a run on us but he's far enough back where he's not going to be able to get a run and, and pass so feel pretty safe here breaking around the 50 50 marker and then uh, accelerating through here this is if you did it right you can get it flat out or just a tiny little lift uh, break late here as you can see keep it on the inside drive it to the outside Swing up here, brake, and look, hey, we were able to keep it off the thing here. And then as you watch here, just a, the tiny little lift here, and then back on it, and there you go. Job done in that corner. As you can tell, we've got quite a bit of uh, tire wear on, the, on this, so did have to pay attention to that. And we're still maintaining a distance here, but he has caught up. I think I may have made a little mistake there. And then that's allowed him to catch up. And here we go. This is flat out through here. Swing out a little bit wide right here to catch the next corner. Clip it in there, and he totally blew that corner. So... <laughs> uh, we have got second place very securely and here we're going to go in and get our pit stop get rid of the soft tires have the team put on a fresh set of medium tires quickly there we are no fuel needed and off we go we're still in second place and uh, first place came into the pits as well uh, look there that is third place back there see how far back he is at this point uh, this is lap 9 that we're on. And then uh, here we go on lap 10, and he's already caught up with me. So he's obviously on a different strategy, probably has the soft tires on now. So he is going much faster than I am on the mediums, because that was probably at least 
a two second lap difference in the laps of the race uh, lap race lap times for the race is about two seconds slower than the soft tires so just keeping an eyeball on the uh, third place car he's definitely right up on me at this point and he's closed in on me and I'm like thinking you know he's faster than me and I don't want to get rammed so I go wide here to let him go on through I didn't want him to mess up my race trying to to uh, make a pass and it was obvious he was faster than me so let him go and then I was hoping you know maybe I could catch into his slipstream get up to first place maybe he'd get up there and fight for uh, with the first place dude take each other out and then I'd be in there for a win so you know some different things going on in my head here definitely uh, catching the, the first place as you can tell and we're all right there within a second of first place and it looked like he made an attempt but I'm back here in dirty air so it's not very easy so he's definitely fighting for first place I'm trying to keep on third here we go up to uh, the final lap of the race we'll go through the last lap here and we break just before the 50 yard meter hit it into the inside and see I highlighted there the uh, the boost you had the boost button I'd used a good bit of boost I had my thumb on the boost down this hill trying to catch the seeing if I could catch second place uh, off the boost then back onto the boost for the final straightaway here just trying to make up any kind of time I can at least give myself a chance for second place and catching him so uh, you can tell we're making up some space but not enough but hopefully if uh, he would make a mistake that would we could be there for second place good exit to that one good entrance here keep it tight push for the out you can see my little light is red meaning I'm out of push to pass so to speak keep it off the astroturf coming into the final big sweeping corner lift and back onto the gas there easy peasy not too much because it'll definitely throw you off into the the wall there and do this little tricky technical section hitting all the marks there a little wide didn't hit the apex there good apex there good exit full throttle through here no lift and he still made no mistakes I'm still hoping he will because that's my only chance is if he messes up this is another place right through here where you can make a mistake and and really screw it up and then you can also screw up this one here but it's obvious he uh, did not make any mistakes I did not make any mistakes so a third place for this track in this race was excellent so We'll take third place, it's probably a good haul of points on that. And this was like one of my favorite races that we've done in forever. So thanks for watching. If you want to, you can subscribe and I'll try to make some more videos. But thanks again for watching. 